Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga! Last time, we left the land of incredibly awesome, upbeat music in favor of going through a very monotone, drab ocean. But we made it back to the mainland, and we were asked by Prince Peasley to go greet Peach over at Bean Bean International Airport! This time, we're gonna be doing just that, heading out from Bean Bean Castletown! I gotta say, I'm really happy with all the progress that we made last time with uh, how higher our stats are from getting all those copies because, yeah, we did that as well. I didn't mention it in the intro, but I did want to bring attention to that nonetheless. I already got this, yes, okay. I I don't like those bean plants very much. I really don't. They, I wish they disappeared like the X's on the ground do because I always feel paranoid like, oh crap, did I get that one? But in more cases than not, I already did and I'm just not remembering that particular one. How about we, uh, how about we be a jerk to this guy and take him out, because, as we established last time, if we first strike him, that's it. Even though there's spiked enemies in the mix, I can still get some free hoo beans and some free, uh, experience, so it's worth it. We check it out, Bean Bean International Airport is south of the swampy-looking place. How about we look around here a little bit, though, just to make- He didn't even touch me! I'm saying, just to make sure that we're not glossing over anything, because I could believe there being some good stuff here. Can't do anything about this darker rock for right now, and... I do want to bring attention to something kind of important. Okay, we don't want to go here quite yet. I do want to bring attention to something kind of important. There are technically collectibles that we can get now that we have the fire hand and or a fire brand and the thunder hand abilities. There are some of these orbs around the world. There are some areas that we can light on fire. There aren't a whole lot of these, and being honest with you, we are not too far off from getting even more abilities that we'll have to go around the world and get collectibles for, so. I think I'm gonna hold off for the time being and just worry about it a little bit later because we are inevitably gonna have to go around and get stuff in the near future. Now, what I'm not a big fan of is Random Block. Didn't do too bad, actually. If I remember correctly, I think. Yes! Okay. This is one of the more jerkish hidden items because it's right near a. Right near a spin jump. Right near a save album, so you wouldn't think they'd hide an item right next to it, but they do. Let's go through the gate right here. This is the most lax airport I think I've ever seen. I kind of like those tropical airports that are outdoors. Humor's Red Sound suggests that a huge VIP celebrity is coming from the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm going to get a photographic evidence and sell it for big bucks to the town know-it-all. Great plan, huh? You mean that old man who wanted those stones? I don't think he would really care. Bean Bean Air is uh, busy with repairs at the moment. None of our planes are flying. Plane carrying Princess Peach seems to be late. I wonder why Princess Peach is coming to the Bean Bean Kingdom. I like how they have the exact same suitcase as ours on the roulette an infinite number of times. I guess they really didn't feel like drawing another one. Mario! Luigi! Lady Lima is calling for you! Please go to the runway up ahead! Terribly sorry, but Chocola Cola is prohibited on airplanes. Any soda will be confiscated! <laughs> Making jabs at Canada there, I see. How they have so many items that are banned here when they really shouldn't be. Oh, Masters Mario and Luigi! Queen Bean was most pleased with your efforts at the University! By the way, by the way, there have been such a slight hiccup in our plans to welcome Princess Peach. You see, nasty piranha plants have dug their roots into this runway. Her airplane can't land. Well, I sure hope it didn't run out of gas and all the time that we were farting around in town making coffees if that was the situation. Prince Peasley really should have told us about that. Well, the Cagaletta incident, it didn't seem to be a priority to repair their airport runway. Why is Luigi drinking coffee? I mean, where do you even get that from? We drank all of our coffee last episode, so the only explanation is that he's hoarding coffee when that stuff is precious and raises stats. What a jerk! Just so you can be funny in cutscenes, you hoard that stuff away from Mario. Well, um, there's some piranha plants on the runway, we gotta get rid of them. Well, we can get into a battle with them, but, uh, okay, you'll see. They spit out fireballs at you, they're as simple as that. If you try using your fire brand on them, I believe it heals them. Indeed, it does 80 HP. Well, uh, okay. Let's try using our Thunder Hand. I think that should be critical. Yes, it is. 148 damage far outweighed that. Only six experience. But if you defeat that, let's see here. Let's uh, go over here. If we leave in the area and come back, it just respawns. You can't stop them from doing this. They will endlessly do it. So what you want to do instead is walk around up here. There's a giant egg right here. And there is a spring. How about we have Luigi, well, do this. That will turn it into a pulsating ball of something, I guess. Let's get this all out of Mario. And then, let's have Luigi walk up to it. And zap it! I said, zap it! 
Doing that will get rid of it once and for all. Heck, it even repairs the runway in the process. Luigi's abilities and talents really are incredible. He is underrated in that regard. But before we deal with all that, if I may be brutally honest, there's about a zillion chuckle beans along this runway, and the act of dealing with these piranha plants gets very repetitive. It would take a very long time. We would spend the entire episode on this runway. Let's not do that. Instead, let's speed things up a bit. We are all done here, except of course for the big one. You see, this is what happens when you have no airport security in your dang international airport. Did you see any? Because I sure as heck didn't. We don't want any- Whoa! I did not heal before this fight. That was a very poor decision. But yes, there was no security checkpoint. And we don't have that. You get piranha plants on the runway. That is why security is so tight in our country. <laughs> Let's use some nuts here. Normally, I would wait till Luigi's turn to do that. But I want to attack using Luigi here. Because, well, it's a little bit complicated. We'll do knock by bros in this piranha plant. Because I want to knock this thing out to show you. So when you defeat one of those, another one will spawn in its place. This is a blue piranha plant slang we haven't seen before. It shoots electro balls, unlike the other ones that shoot fireballs. I'm just talking in Pokemon terms here. Um, those are greatly damaged by Mario's Firebrand, whereas they get healed by Luigi's Thunderhand. They are the opposite of what we saw before. I'm going to attack this piranha plant right here once again. And now, what I want to do is not a bros attack, but instead I want to go for Luigi's Thunderhand and attack the Mom Piranha, the big boss here, because it takes critical hits from that. However, whenever you hit it with a critical attack, or I think just hit it in general, you get counterattacked by whatever piranha plants are out. It's kind of a deep fight, I have to say. Not only that, but she's able to change color to blue on the fly. Now she is weak to Mario's Firebrand. Because she has two piranha plants supporting her, she will recover 20 HP each turn, 10 HP per piranha plant. There's surprisingly a lot to this fight, but you can take her out pretty quickly if you just hit her with your hand attacks. Let's do Firebrand and- oh! Two hits? And from regular attacks, no less. I really don't know my own strength. But she dropped a spiny badge A. That is the only one in the entire game. I will show what this does a little bit later. You might have also noticed that I only got four coins from that. Only in the North American version. For whatever strange reason, Mom Piranha will drop no coins if she is blue. I guess she counts as a separate enemy or something. And I kind of like to think of the way she shrank down. She turned into the badge that we got. But I guess not because Luigi just squished her in that form and didn't pick her up and didn't her on his overall. That was kind of grim. Did I really miss one of these beans on the runway? Yeah, I did. Wow. So much for my montage. I skipped over one. Uh, let's talk to Lady Lyman and just get the heck out of here. I really do not want to be a run on a runway while a plane is landing on it. I have no idea how air traffic control does not just like... I don't know. It'd be a terrifying job for me. I know that they're not on the part of the runway that the planes are taking off and landing from, but still. And wow, same plane from Super Mario Sunshine. Looks like it had a smooth landing for the first time in the entire continuity. Out of the two times we've seen it, yeah, it doesn't sound really all that impressive. <laughs> Hush, everyone! Princess Peach, representative of the Mushroom Kingdom, brings greetings! I do not want to hear any greetings from that explosive voice! <laughs> I love how they cowered in fear at the text box appearing! That's a great fourth wall joke. Well! She is able to speak normally. I'm so relieved the two of you are safe. Oh, 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 terribly amusing. Yes, come now, don't be startled. You see, I must tell you, Princess Peach's voice was never stolen. <laughs> Those reactions, they're so great. I knew Kekaleta was after the royal voice, so I beat them to the castle and warned the princess. I thought that Princess Peach in the opening looked higher resolution and more ravishing than the real thing. Sure enough, this is the Princess Peach whose voice was stolen. Yep, 
And that is why the Bean Star reacted so strangely to her voice. Sorry, Birdo. Apparently, you really do not have that great of a voice. Um, even though all we've ever heard you go is the only sound you've ever made is Wah. It's kind of impressive that she's able to do anything else. So, uh, Queen Bean is telling us what she said before. Uh, we had the better hand in our cards or something. <laughs> I am t sorry to have caused you so much such trouble. When uh, the pair of you came rushing to the castle, I intended to tell you the truth immediately, but Bowser beat you there. And I lost my chance to spill the beans, so to speak. But you defeated Cacoletta nonetheless, and that is something to be congratulated for. You ask me, spill the bean sounds like it'd be a racial slur around here. <laughs> this music! By the way, there's no sign of what's left of the bean star. It apparently broke into four pieces which seem to be lost. And so, I am off yet again! I must sally forth to look for pieces of the bean star! You two can relax here and enjoy some sightseeing in our kingdom with the fair Princess Peach. Bye bye. Ah, Luigi, I can tell you miss him already. Why don't we try going into the castle and seeing what we can see? What does Princess Peach have to say to us now with that she does not have her... I don't even know how I'm trying to word this. I'll just talk to her before I make a fool out of myself even worse. Oh, Mario, Luigi. I was just speaking with Queen Bean. She tells me there is a mushroom town in Bean Bean Kingdom called Little Fungi Town. Do you know of it? We heard about it from NPC in Castle Town, guys. Don't lie, you've heard of it. It's a town full of toads that have immigrated to this land. Ah, I see, so we're gonna take the princess there and give all those toads what fur for walking out on us and being tired of the princess's rule, I see. <laughs> That's acceptable in theory, but to reach a little fungi town, you must go north through Tihi Valley. Tihi Valley is filled with vile monsters. It would be a little, no, very dangerous for Princess Peach. The royal, as the royal representative of the senior toads, I must vigorously oppose the idea. Passing through unknown lands filled with monsters is absolutely absurd. Why, the very idea... <laughs> and yet... Suppose if Mario and Luigi escorted you. Mario, Luigi, since we seem to have com come to the con consensus, won't you take me to Little Fungi Town? Oh, no. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Mario, so quick to please. As if I had any say in the matter. Just be very, 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 very careful. I must begin preparations immediately. Mario, you and Luigi should meet us up north at the entrance to Teehee Valley. And with that, please allow me to excuse myself, Queen Bean. I just realized the scriptwriters really liked the word immediately. I am severely impressed. Mario, Luigi, we have entrusted Princess Peach's safekeeping to the two of you. Leave the castle town and head northeast to reach Teehee Valley. Indeed we will. But, well, do we want to do that right now? I don't think so. I think we've made quite a lot of progress. We got ourselves a new item. Actually, what am I doing? We want to check that badge. I don't want to just forget about that. Almost forgot to show what the spiny badge I even did. That would have been embarrassing after I made such a big deal of it being the only one in the game. So yeah, do not sell this badge if you want to collect as many of them as possible. So this has spiny killer jump effect. You no longer have to worry about jumping on spiked enemies. Comes at a bit of a hit to the BP from what we were getting already, but that ups power by a lot. I think I want to give that to Luigi, considering Mario's only going to get a two power boost from that, so we'll do that. Uh, 40 BP, but that's not exactly bad. I'm not complaining about that. So. We made quite a lot of progress. We went to the Bean Bean International Airport and got ourselves a ton of collectibles around the area. They were really laying it on thick there. And in addition to that, we got Princess Peach back, found out what had been going on behind the scenes, and felled the Mom Piranha. Next time on Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we head to the Northeast with Princess Peach to Teehee Valley to do a little bit of sightseeing now that there's no conflict anymore and Cacoletta's been defeated. Yeah, it doesn't sound too terribly exciting when I say it like that, but trust me, it'll be fun. See you guys then.